Would you like to do a maze for me? I would absolutely love to do a maze for you. Hopefully I actually get some good loot. Okay, that's 74% we got. Let's see if we get something pretty decent from that. 91 coal? I guess I can't complain about the coal, and we got some nature runes as well. Pretty much the best thing that I can get here though is the death runes. I always do this for the death runes. But like I said, the coal is pretty good too. Well, since we're working towards the quest point cape right now, I figured I would go ahead and do the um, Rag and Bone Man quest part two. We've got a lot of these things to grab, but let's go ahead and start with these. I went and hunted some of them already. Nothing interesting happens. I think I gotta put those actually inside a empty pot. All right, let's trade them all to the old man. Sweet, he took them all. Let's see how many we have left. That's one. Actually, I need to do a quest for this cave goblin. But right now, I'm trying to get two full ham sets for that quest. I got pretty much all this, I'm missing the boots, and same with the second set. It's kind of annoying because I keep getting these pieces, but never boots. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this clue, since I'm already low health anyways, and I need to go back for our food. But it says to speak to Ermin. I have no clue where this guy is, so I gotta look this up. Nice, we got a page. Oh, I think we got page four. Let's go see if we do. I'm pretty sure that's the last page I just recently got. Yep, page four. Yeah, it's page three, page four. Okay, well, we got our second duplicate now. Ended up getting another clue. Let's go ahead and open this, take these off. Let's go ahead and build this thing first, though. Pause that, let's open this. I was hoping for another page. Well, that took a while, but we ended up getting the last pair of boots, so we got two of the full sets. Now we can do this quest. I think I'm going to pickpocket till I get the easy clue again, though. Just because I don't know why I feel like I'm going to get lucky with it. Okay, that's the last one. Let's see if we can get ourselves another page. Oh, no, that wasn't good at all. All right, for Rag and Bone Man, apparently I didn't need to do Death to Dorgashin. But either way, I still want to do this quest anyways, just to knock it off the list. But here's the um, Goblin Skull. This should pretty much be it for this quest. There we go, 2,000 Thieving, Range... And Dorgishan special attacks, nothing that I really care about, except entry to Dorgish Khan. And we're just going to jump right into this next quest as well. I don't know who I have to talk I have to go this way to talk to the guy. But yep, now we can enter this city. Come on. Not everybody's clapping for me. 3,000 mining XP and prayer XP and ancient goblin mace. I don't think I need that, but that's a Bandos item, so I guess it's kind of good. And access to Dorgish Khan train. I actually do need to get on this train for a diary. Nice. There's a hard task complete for the Lumbridge and Drainer diary. Which actually with that quest I unlocked two things I could do with the hard diary. I did the, um, you know, take a train from Dorgishkan to Keldgrim, which I just did. And also I need to light your mining helmet in Lumbridge Castle. I need to go find out how I can get a mining helmet. But it's somewhere in Dorgishkan, so. I want to say you could buy it somewhere, but I'm not positive. I might have to, uh get it from something well I was right they do sell the mining helmet here so I just went ahead and bought one and I think you gotta light it and then wear it oh I gotta do it in Lumbridge Castle basement extinguish that now light it again there we go so I planted the Belladonna that should be ready tomorrow recharge your prayer at Clan Wars that would work too I can do the Amulet of Power as well travel from Lumbridge to Edgeville can do that so Cosmic Runes is the only thing I can't do right now for Lumbridge. Getting really close to doing these hard diaries now. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and hand these in, and this should be this quest complete, like the second part of the Rag and Bone Man quest. 5k Prayer XP. Didn't get a level, but that's actually pretty nice. But that's another quest off the list as well. But we're gonna do Wanted now. I have been doing this for about three hours now, trying to get myself a Gout Tuber for the Medium Diary for Kramja. I am pretty tired of this, so I think I'm going to take a break from this and come back at it later. But it's kind of annoying how long this one takes. And 70 thieving. There we go. We can now pickpocket paladins. I don't think I'll be doing that, but I can do it. It's always nice having the option. But honestly, I just like the way that looks. Now it's like 70 instead of 60s. This account's finally starting to look pretty decent. I'm almost 1700 total, too. But let's go ahead and take a break from this for now, and we're going to go and use our games necklace. I don't know if I have one on me. I do not. And we're going to go do the tiers of Guthix, and that should put us... If we get enough tiers, we'll get 53 runecrafting. <laughs> there we go. That should be enough. 140 tiers. I think that's the most I've had on this account. It's a lot. See the XP drop? 
8.4k. Very nice. And we're 53 rune crafting. I haven't even touched the skill myself. Although I will have to soon. Because I need 59 for the Lumbee Diaries. For the hard one. Yeah, we're going to need 6 levels for that. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's go ahead and do some other stuff. Alright, Wanted Quest complete. 5,000 Slayer experience and access to the White Knight Armory. But this quest right here for Prostolite Armor. This is what I want to do right now. Also, Wanted Quest was needed for Devious Minds right here. So I can do this quest now as well. Skipping through some dialogue, and this should be pretty much done. If he ever stops talking. There we go, Slug Menace complete. We got some decent XP, I guess, but the biggest thing is the promotion to Prostolite Armor. I had a friend that's been roasting me about not having this, so now he can't roast me anymore. Well, that's too many quests we got left. We got Tribal Totem, that's easy. Scorpion Catcher's easy. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we only got ten more quests left. I'm getting pretty close. Should be a hard task complete to wear full proselyte and pray at this altar. There we go, hard task complete. Well, there we go, that took like 15 minutes, but 5,000 fletching XP, 5,000 rune crafting, and 6.5 smithing. We're actually already close to a new rune crafting level. That's really good. There we go, one quest point, some thieving XP, and a bunch of swordfish. Nothing good from that quest, it's just one of the easier quests you can do that I avoided in the beginning. But I've been doing a lot of quests, I'm at 238 with like 8 quests left. So I think I'm going to take a break from questing right now and go back to Slayer. Also, I need my cash stack to go up. I'm only at 106k right now. So I decided to jump back into some Slayer. I really want to get myself a Slayer mask, and I'm just a few points off. Ended up getting myself some Fossil Island Wyverns, so I figured I would do this task. Um, they were a lot easier than I thought it would be. And actually, on my first kill, I got a, a rare Fossil, which is pretty cool. I don't know how like what the drop rate is for that. But I don't think I even have one on my main yet, so that's kind of cool to get one on this account. I don't think the rare fossil has a use yet. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the rare ones can be used. I know you can't build anything in the museum with them yet. But yeah, there's me unlocking the Slayer Helm. That's really nice to get, and here's me putting it together and putting it on. Now my guy actually looks complete. He looks really weird with the black mask. I don't know, I just don't really care for it. But the Slayer Helmet looks really good. Finally get that out of the way. Ended up getting Dust Devils too, so it was perfect timing to use it. And I decided to burst them, so I went to go change my spellbook. Ended up completing a desert hard task, so that's really cool. But let's go ahead and jump into some live commentary now. Alright, we're jumping into some live commentary. I'm about to do some ice bursting at Dust Devils. I don't know what my inventory should look like. I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Uh, I decided to use a stole for the 10 prayer bonus. Because I figured that'd be better than using a power amulet. It just seems really bad. Same thing with the Armadale top. I figured I'd get some prayer bonus in there. Because the best mage top I have is a lunar. I don't know how much more mage bonus it was in the Armadale top. But it didn't have a prayer bonus. So I figured might as well get six prayer bonus from this. But I didn't buy an ancient staff either. So I'm using a water staff. So let's see how this goes. Well I finished off that dust devil task. That was very quick. I can't remember if I started with one or two K chaos runes. I guess before, you know, the clip before you guys could see that, but either way, I ended up banging like two or three times, so I definitely profited, and I got a mage level as well, so I'm 76 now. But let's grab a new task, 149 Dagonauts, definitely a good task. Alright, so I've been doing some of the favor for Karen for the uh, Piscalarius. I want to get to 100% so one day I can do Anglerfish, but the biggest reason I honestly want to get it is so I can just recolor my Graceful. I really want the light blue graceful, but I figured let's go ahead and knock it out soon. It's better sooner than later. But yeah, once I start working on the main, well, I've been working on the main the whole time, honestly. I've just been doing AFK skills, but once I start doing agility, I'll probably be doing fishing on this account, um, so one day I can catch anglerfish. I think anglerfish are kind of a necessity if you're going to want to do some bossing later so you can get to 120 HP. Okay, so now I have 30% in Piscularis where I can start hunting the grubs on the beach. Now this is going to speed up really quick. I want to end the episode off with me getting 100%, so let's go ahead and finish this off. Trading in the last bucket, let's go ahead and get 100%. You'll need to bring me at least 5 buckets. Are you kidding me? Here's 100% now. 
and we're gonna go find the architect so we can lock in the favor. All right, guys, well, this seems like a pretty good spot to end the video off. I got like 13 more marks of grace to go, and then I can recolor the full graceful set. So yeah, I'll pretty much begin the next video like that, and I'm also gonna be doing pretty much mainly Slayer next video. I might get more quests done as well, not really sure, but definitely got a lot of Slayer to do. But till next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.